good day and welcome back to this last video in our web development fundamental um, series and for this last video uh, we've covered everything we need to about developing web application figure we use this opportunity to recap um, some of the things we've learned and the path we've taken so just looking at the number of videos alone in this series 96 videos um, that's quite a bit of a number of videos to go through but I do appreciate those of you who watched the video from the series from the beginning. But we start off with, you know, looking at um, the plan that we have for the overall programming series. But besides that, we did, you know, what is Git, installing Git for Windows, Mac, Linux. And then, of course, we did Git configuration. And we start off by using brackets and, of course, installing that. And then in Chapter 3, we jump into HTML. And we had a number of videos on doing different things in HTML, different HTML tags, doing tables and anchor tags, images, and doing basic layouts. And then after HTML, uh, and of course forms in HTML, after HTML we did some CSS. We didn't do a lot of CSS because um, we knew that uh, you can use libraries like Bootstrap and Angular Material, and hopefully you're convinced now at the end that though it makes sense to just use one of those library and libraries and you get beautiful looking web applications so you don't have to spend too much time um, trying to style individual elements. And then in chapter five, we jump into JavaScript and of course we had to install a node and we learn about the basics of um, JavaScript programming and then variables in different data types, functions and arrays and objects in general. Um, of course, flow control and JSON objects. And then we did some closure stuff, which is a little bit advanced topic in Java. And that was chapter five. Chapter six, we then jump in to AngularJS uh, framework uh, because we've had the fundamentals of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now we can start developing an application. And so we learn about Angular framework and why it's so good to make it felt you make your application and of course we did directors and controllers and we started our simple to do application and we kept adding more and more capabilities to it. You know, we had filters and routers, um, routes and services, and then eventually we were able to have a functional web application that can talk to can send RESTful requests. We really didn't have a back end to support it, but we demonstrated that we can send to the back end. Then we left that, and in Chapter 7, we start talking about package managers, node package manager, and look at the benefit of using NPM. Um, we, wrote, we wrote NPM modules, and then we look at Bower, and eventually the web um, ExpressJS web framework for the backend. And then we talk about Yeoman for scaffolding applications. We look at a simple a generator for Yeoman, the uh, Angular generator. Then we looked at MongoDB, talk about how to use um, the Mongoose package for storing data in MongoDB. Then we, after we did all that, we then use um, ng full stack, which generates a full front-end and back-end application for us. And now we can see that with that full stack generator, we didn't have to write everything by hand as you did for when we were doing our Angular application and when we were scaffolding stuff in the back end. And then we went through and looked at how you could modify ng full stack by you know generating client code, routes, models, factories, services, resources, data access models, and then of course we can use our modules to generate just about everything. And then we modified all of those and basically we were able to show that how oh, we can recreate the application much easier and faster using a framework. And then we wrapped up by showing that we can also use Angular Material UI. So all in all, this was a very long course, pretty detailed, a lot of material to cover, but we still got through it. And I hope you had fun, hope you learned a lot. Um, definitely update, post questions, continue to subscribe. And if you're still interested in learning more, you can check out my Go programming series that is also running currently. And I'll be adding another series soon. So 
keep subscribing keep watching and again thanks for all the support take care